Assalamu alaikum everyone! In today's video we're going to talk about why marriage Rizeki is a real thing and we have the real life proof of that. And you might be wondering, why are we wearing these travel pillows? Well guys, we have a very, very exciting announcement to make at the end of this video. So stay tuned, subscribe below, enjoy and let's get straight into it. So in Islam, we call it uh, rezeki selepas kahwin. Di mana rezeki ni datang daripada pelbagai bentuk. Bukan hanya daripada uang, bukan daripada duit semata-mata. Rezeki sebagai contoh adalah dapat pasangan yang baik adalah satu rezeki. Dapat pasangan yang menenangkan adalah satu rezeki. Dapat ilmu adalah satu rezeki tak tertaluk hanya pada mata wang semata-mata and also dapat kerja yang bagus adalah rezeki juga alright so itulah dia rezeki rezeki selepas kahwin yeah so basically the most simplest term it's like the things you're given by God by Allah hmm. after marriage now the whole point of this video is to kind of explain what rezeki we've been given not to boast about it not to brag about it that's not the point of this video but to actually be completely grateful for it and explain to others that this could happen to you too Marriage is such, you think it's such a scary, scary thing. But when you find the right person, when you click, when you feel like it's your best friend you're spending time with, it's okay to get married. And we want to just share our experience to let others know that it can work this way. Because we do feel that in this modern society, you're told that you have to build your career, make money, build yourself before you even think about marriage. But in our experience, when we met, we were absolutely not millionaires. No. We were scraping the battle, guys. At first, we met each other. I even have like a normal car. I don't have a house. I stay renting and Hey, at that time, I just like drive Produa Viva. Yeah, yeah, and you know, I remember when we're driving but, around, you guys will remember, I'm so yeah. sorry to interrupt, but this is important, guys. When we're driving around for the move-in vlog, and I remember that day, literally Bass turned to me and was like, hey, you know, if you were just like a Malay girl, like she wouldn't even get in this car. And I was like, oh. Surprise some more. I am in a very exciting country that you guys will be finding all about just shortly. But I want to talk to you guys about today's paid partnership, BetterHelp. You guys may have heard of BetterHelp already. BetterHelp is a site where you guys can go online, you can access credentialized therapists that will help you through whatever mental health struggles that you might have. They'll listen to you guys and they're going to give back helpful advice that is unbiased and hopefully will help you through whatever it is that you're currently going through. Guys, mental health is no stigma and don't go for it alone. Even Abbas during his time at Aswana would go see the therapist just to keep on top of his mental health. I tried out BetterHelp just to see what it's like. You can fill in an online form, a questionnaire that goes for all kind of mental health questions. At the end, you can also pick what gender, what religion you want your therapist to be. So of course I picked Muslim for mine. We got online, we got chatting over video call. You can also chat over messaging or video chat. You guys can just discuss. So we just discuss life. There may be times in your life that you just need a little help in hand and this is really where BetterHelp comes in. So if you think BetterHelp could be a good suit for you, type in this link to your browser now or click the link in my description to get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. Terima kasih banyak banyak to our paid partnership BetterHelp in this video. I really hope BetterHelp is useful for you. Let's crack on with the rest of the video and some exciting news right at the end of the video. I don't even know anything about cars. I mean, it gets from A to B. It's good enough for me, right? So I didn't even yeah. think that I would expect you to have a Mercedes, a Range Rover, or whatever. But I don't know, I trust God plans. I'm mm. just like, even me, when I say that I want to get married, not even people around me, it's my family itself like, ah, are you ready to get married? Mm. I don't think that you're ready to get married this and this. For them, you need to have a house. You need to have a car you need to have like what we call monthly salary job oh, gosh, that's yeah. how you can get married but I, I trust that if you work hard if you have a nice job it's good enough but I also trust that the wealth are given by God mm. if God only give for hardworking people I believe a lot of janitor out there more hardworking than us deserve better and also, if God say knowledge, if knowledge, if you have more knowledge, you can get more uh, money. Mm. If like that, a lot of millionaire out there came from professor, doctor. Of course, professor and doctor have money. But my point is, not all money came from that. Also, not came from hard work. We need to trust 100% on God. 
but at the same time, of course, we work so hard. Yeah, it, it's not <laughs> we to, work so hard. It's no, not, not to say that everything will fall on your plate, mm -hmm. but it's to say that if you make some good decisions, mm -hmm. then things will actually be true. And back you need to, to you. at first, you need to really put your trust in yourself and work for it, mm -hmm. and pray. Like work for it first, then pray. That's it. Don't just pray and not work. Yeah, they have or to. Or don't just hands. like work but not pray to God. Yeah, Come on. Of course, we don't live in a fantasy world. Of course, you've got to work hard. But in our experience, we have not even had a single second to slow down since our marriage. Maybe you guys are like, Alana, why are you never reply to our comments anymore? I'm so sorry. I, I post so much content. I have so many fun, wonderful things to do. And it is something I'm working on, guys, because I used to reply so much to my comments before, but inshallah, very, very soon. But guys, since marriage, we have had a number of things that just like come into place, come into place that we would never have expected to happen before marriage. And we are shocked, but now understand the riziki after marriage. Like, again, we're not here to boast about it, of course, but like so many wonderful events in KL, so many brands come in out of nowhere that, you know, want to work on my social media or with us both. It's just phenomenal. And like recently, as you guys know, we went to Taiwan with Taiwan Tourism. Tourism, thank you so much. It was just a wonderful trip. And the funniest part is that trip was specifically to showcase to you guys what a Muslim trip in Taiwan could look like and what they've done in Taiwan to allow Muslims to go there. Mm. And again, it's such a specific opportunity that came up that how did this possibly come up? You know, like it of course ties in with the manager Zeki. Like True. It does. It's already been written. A lot of people be at my age, back those days, they, they say that, oh, how can I get married? How can I take care of my family when I get married? You know, mm. I want to share something that I still remember one of my ustads says that don't scare to get married. Mm. Just get married because the risky is not came from you. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran, get married, establish yourself, get married. Don't worry about the wealth, about your son, about your wife or your son, mm -hmm. because not you that giving the wealth to them. Mm. It's me, Allah who gives to them. Our rizki is not us give, even for ourselves, not us that decide what kind of wealth that we can get. Yeah. Allah decide to us and also for our wife, for our kids, that's from Allah. So be close to God and of course work hard and inshallah everything will be fine. Yeah. Like example, I, I just want to share like before marriage we have these like plans to make a business. After marriage, we just like, all right, now we are not 2% anymore, now we are one. We are husband and wife. So we just like, all right, let's do this we business. We gave it a try and mashallah, every time we had a drop of gold bar, it just sold out within days. Mm. And we're so excited to upgrade the packaging, to keep getting it better and better for you guys, introduce new products, ones that you like, like True. as well. So. It's just unbelievable because I was such in a mindset of Alana, you've got to build your career, you've got to make money before you can like find someone, before you can get married. And then when I met Mr. Abbas here, like things changed because we were on the same path going like this. And I mentioned this in a video before, suddenly we decided to go on a path like this. And when you combine two people into one, you have no idea what you can do against the world, like, or with the world, however you want to see it. But it's just unbelievable, like what can happen? Like the marriage Rizuki is a true thing and true. you know if if you are a man right and your partner is I don't know I don't know how to say it nicely but like is expecting too much from you too early they might just not be the one because for me I understand in Islam that like the man is meant to provide for the wife and I would never sit back at this stage and just say to Abbas you need to make all the money or you need to do this you need to do this I'm not that type of person but I think if your potential wife is expecting so much of you and doesn't take into consideration the toll it has on your health, how you're trying your best but maybe the finances aren't as good as she wants, I just don't know if that's the perfect situation for you. I don't know. Like, I don't know. What do you think about that? Like, if the wife is expecting so much, you're not good enough, you're not earning enough money, like, do you think that's even a good basis to start a marriage? For me, both need to have, like, understanding and respect each other. Mm -hmm situation that time. If you don't think that man couldn't give what you want, then 
that's not right man and might be also you're not mature enough to get married also of course we cannot just straight away jump to marriage at first both of us we prepare ourselves mm. before we get married like alana try her best to be the best version of her me try my best to be the best version of me then we can come to conclusion to get married we're not mm. straight away also just like oh easy for you guys just get married no not really we also like think and yeah. like reflects ourselves are we ready if we're not ready we see our weakness what we need to polish from that mm -hmm. and of course you need to reflect yourself cannot just like see the opposite your partner need to see yourself are you giving enough yes. before you asking True. them to give more and when both people are doing that mm. the the respect you get from one another is so high because mm. in a relationship you've kind of got to see the other person do something before you can kind of demand it or you have to do it yourself is what i should say before you can demand it but it's even better when you see them doing it and you're like oh gosh i should do that thing you know whatever it might be so yeah for sure and you know people will of course always question marriage always there will always be someone questioning whether you're a content creator that gets hundreds of comments about it or whether you're just you know doing your life normally not in the spotlight and your family are questioning you or your friends are questioning you, you will always get questions like don't, this but don't that's think. okay don't that's... think about what people say okay one yeah. story one story this is a story back those days got two uh, husband and wife and one donkey Oh yeah, you, you know said about in this video, yeah. All right, and with one donkey. So one day, the husband put the wife on the donkey and take the donkey, mm -hmm. uh, take the sorry, the horse. Uh, sorry, the donkey. Take the donkey around the town. The the around, horse is the donkey. <laughs> around the town. So what happened is people say like, oh gosh, you your You're making your your wife, walk. you making your husband walk. Why you said swap place? Then they would swap then place. Then people are like, oh, I can't believe that he would let his wife walk. And there's all sorts of different then things. Both of them, donkey. both of them, okay, don't ride the donkey then. Then people are like, oh, so stupid, why would they have a donkey and no one's riding? <laughs> so the message is what we can learn is don't take 100% what people say. Oh yeah, never, never Even fully. it's your close one, even it's your family. If it's good things, just take it. But don't take to your heart if it's negative. Yeah, because only you know the reality. Mm. We always said this with each other, that nobody lives in our relationship. Nobody is with us 100% of the time. Nobody is literally in our brains. So mm. nobody could ever know the full extent of our relationship. And we said that from the start. No comment from anyone online, offline, could ever get in the way because we already decided that from day one. True. And I remember the advice my stepmom gave me, literally coming up to the marriage, she was like, Alana, look into yourself. If there's even 1% of you that says this marriage is not okay, then don't do it. And she knows, you know, she's lived life, she knows. So that was such good advice. But in my head, 100% of me was like, no, th this is right, this feels right. Because so, one thing I want to say is, they don't live in our shoes. Hmm, no they don't not. feel what you're feeling with your future wife, with your future husband. Also, they don't see your goals. They don't see your versions, your visual. People don't see it unless you do it. Now we are done it and now we are work together. Mm become a content creator, create content, now people were like, oh, uh, awesome, you guys, lucky you guys, but before we get married, they were like, no, don't get married, it's wrong, <laughs> this and this. That's the thing, you've got to follow your heart and believe us, the Rizeki will come. You could not even believe what opportunities will come True. to you after Believe, marriage. put trust in God, yeah. put trust in God, nothing else, not matter. Once you put trust in God, even though a bullet someone put the guns in your head but if you put trust on God trust me it was God all written in your path anyway God can help yeah it's true we can absolutely say with all the things our you know launching our business Taiwan trip all these events and brands here in KL opportunities come in left right center true. as Abba says put your trust in God if you feel like it's the right person if a hundred percent of you says this is the right person then follow your heart we're not saying go against what your parents say like true you know of course if they have reservations about your potential partner you do need to consider that as well but having considered everything what you do need to trust in is the marriage with Zaki mm. because it will come inshallah take my word and also I want to say that marriage or do something in life whatever it is let's say job or opportunity it's like a risk you know if you're willing to take the risk and done 
Mm. And also, don't be scared to fail. Don't be scared. This is... As Mr. Abbas said in our World, world of Buzz interviews, take the risk or lose the chance. <laughs> yes, of course. And don't be scared to fail because with failing, you, you, you will can. learn. Like anything, our, our advice is not only asking you to get married, a bunch of you must be already get married. But whatever it is, you want to start a business, go for it. Yeah, true. Go for it. Give yeah. a try. Start from little. Yeah. Write down your idea. Yeah. First thing, That's if you have your idea, write down your idea. Okay. Next step, what can bring you to the, your idea? Let's say you want to make a business, a karopot leko. Write down your idea, yeah, what you need. Think of your design. Quali, you yeah. need your work, you need oil, ingredients. Okay, start from business. Start making first. Try it by yourself. Okay, I can make better. Yeah. Go slowly True. and Guys, get business. Just go for it. Don't hold back. And most importantly, just do not let other people's negative comments bring you True. down. People will always have an opinion. Always, always, always mm. just ignore them. Try your best, work hard, believe in God, pray, and it will all fall True. into place. And one more life. tips. This is, I just really want to share this with you guys. One more tips that I see Alana did it and me did it before. Help others in difficulty. Mm. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say in the Quran, whoever help others in difficulty God himself going to help you guys in the world and yeah, hereafter Always help and make people. them happy well, whoever it is people who make you sad people who do bad to you don't care about that you help them you make them happy help them in their difficulty inshallah one day God will help you in yours and we are here not just like to bragging whatever that have we done but what we want you to know is we really want to share this because we know that a lot of us even us right now have a lot of problems struggles and we know that a lot of people are struggling facing the world but don't you worry everything will pay off your difficulty will pay off if you keep doing, keep willing. That's like Rona, I, I always put this, dedication, hard work and belief to God all the time. One day, everything will pay off. You will be the champion in your life. I mean, now guys, let's bring it on to the big news. Why on earth are we sitting here wearing these bare pillows? Well, you guys know we just came back from Taiwan. That is one of the reasons. We have some news, and the news is <laughs> we're going to Scotland! <laughs> okay, so one of the managers of Zeki really is that, mashallah, we are going back to Scotland. We are literally going, like now. We, after right, this now. video, we're going. That's True. why I'm in the airport clothes. That's why we've got these travel pillows on. We just got these from Kaohsiung in Taiwan. We already like packed everything. We just like, hey, why not packed. make a, a video for here. you guys? There's a bag here. So, if this is not trust enough that manage Zaki is real, I don't know what is. But guys, that is the exciting news. We are going to Scotland. Abbas is going to visit my campo. We're going to vlog everything. <laughs> We're going to show you guys everything. I hope you guys are super excited. I'm going uh, going road trip with dad. Yeah, we're going on a road trip with dad <laughs> around Scotland to the most beautiful places in Scotland, mashallah. I cannot wait to show you guys. We have just arrived in Loch Morlick and we are suited and booted to go out on that loch. Literally the most beautiful places. I'm not even joking you. When dad showed me the itinerary, I was like, oh gosh. This is perfect. So we're going to Scotland, we're going to try a whole bunch of food, we're going to go to Edinburgh, we're going to road trip around Scotland. It's just so exciting. Abbas is going to meet the extended family that he's not met yet. How are you actually feeling? Actually, a bit nervous because yeah. this is my first time, like, my first international flight is in, in Taiwan. Taiwan. Yeah. This is Thank like you, our uh, Taiwan tourism. <laughs> yes. And this is like your first my big, more bigger international yes. flight. And we know this is a long haul because it's got like the TVs in the back of the screen and all that sort of stuff. So we're actually going to vlog that. We're going to finish this vlog, then go straight onto that vlog. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, you're a bit. Are you a bit nervous for that or meeting my family or? Not really, because I met everyone already, yeah, mostly true. in the phone. I don't know. I nervous. Like, is it that cool? Is oh. it? The weather made me nervous, honestly. I'll be honest with you guys, the True. weather made me nervous. If you guys remember Liv, we went to try Ramley. Liv went to try Ramley when she was here for the wedding. She's been giving me like daily updates about the weather. And like one day it's like, oh, it's, it's sunny today. Oh no, sorry, it started raining. Hey, the sun came back out. Oh no, never mind, raining again. And I'm like, oh, 
Alamak, like what's it gonna be? True, but yeah, Dad already told me that he going to prepare me a, a big jacket. A big jacket, yeah. yeah Hope everything true. fine. And also, by the way, we are going to surprise Nan. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Right, so basically we're filming this video, we're getting on the plane, filming another video. We're gonna take you through the airport, on the flight, everything. Then as soon as we land, we're gonna film another video surprising Nana. She thinks that she's got a present. It was just her birthday, a present that's arriving tomorrow. This is the present here. So that's another video. Oh, there's just so much fun content to come, guys. So we really hope you're as excited for that as we are. I know you are because you guys ask me all the time, Alana, show us Scotland, talk about Scotland. And I never do, but now- Wait we for it. Wait for it. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. So guys, we must go because our flight is in a few hours and we need to get to Putrajaya to Mochitnira's house to say bye to Mochitnira. Guys, marriage is a key is real. Okay, we are living proof of that. Don't be scared. Take the risk or lose the chance, as Mr. Vass would always say. If you like this video, don't forget to watch this video here. Thank you for watching. Dan, Papa Roger. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye. Yeah, see you in Scotland. Bye.